Hey guys, it's Fuller Farm. It's a beautiful spring day. You can see all the fruit trees in the orchard are blossoming. And we're gonna head off into the woods to find what? Leeks. Some wild leeks or ramps. So we're gonna see if we can find a little patch of leeks to harvest. All right, let's go. Almost to the secret patch. We are ways out in the woods. Oh, yep, a little lone one. But here's a nice little sized patch. It's kind of open, so it's got some sun. But these are all wild leeks or ramps. Should we dig some up? Yeah. There's the shovel underneath here. Uh, almost. Here we go. So that's what a wild leek looks like. Almost like a little garlic clove. And you can actually eat the whole thing. We got two in one. And this one, they're like connected. So we're going to pick a bunch of these. We'll leave some so that they can keep spreading in this area. And we can come back year after year and, and harvest the wild leeks. All right, do you want to put these in the this bag and we'll keep has, getting more? This one only has one leaf. Oh, yeah, it's a little tiny one, huh? All right, let's put them in the bag. It's like a double or a triple? Yeah, this is. You can see some of these, the greens are starting to wilt too, so we got these to these just in time. Okay, well, I would find the second dog. Even when the bulb is showing on it, okay? It's still off. See, some of these are really bunched together. All right, how many leaks did we get? A bunch. A bunch, two big bags so that we can make some fun things with the wild leaks. You can see we didn't pick all of them. We probably got 75% of them though. Quite a few, but we'll let these keep splitting and regrowing. All right, let's go back home. In the springtime, here's another great thing you can harvest out here. These are all wild uh, chives, is what we call them. They're maybe not as strong in flavor as regular chives, but they still have that kind of oniony chive taste. They're a lot thinner as well, but another wild edible besides the leeks and the morels and the fiddleheads from the fern, baby ferns that are growing. So it's a fun time of year. The green onions seem like they they actually grow most of the year, but spring they're they're really it's when they're going crazy. But just picking them, and you can smell that that onion smell. All right, we'll get the water going and wash this one off. They've got this little brown covering that just comes right off once they get in the water. So you can see there's a nice little bulb, just like a chive or a little onion, and then you've got the greens as well. So you can do a few things with these. Let me turn the water off so you can hear. You can cut off the bulb and the roots and actually pickle them, or you can eat them raw like that. You can also saute the whole thing or saute just the greens. Or another really popular thing is to make soup out of these. All the leeks are cleaned. You can see we've got a whole mountain here of, of leeks. So I'm gonna take the biggest ones and, and chop off the bulbs and we're gonna make pickles out of those and then we'll Leave probably the smaller ones to saute, maybe the medium ones for soup. But really nice, really nice harvest of leeks this year. There's a small batch of the leeks, the biggest leeks. And we're just going to do these as fridge pickles, basically. So we already have the vinegar and spices in there. And this is going in the fridge. We also made a, a pesto out of the leek leaves, added some smoked almonds and some olive oil and salt, a little bit of smoked pepper. So you can use that for pasta or on sandwiches.
And here's the, what the finished product looks like when it's sauteed in just butter and, and salt. I'm going to freeze this and then vacuum pack it so that we can use it for stews and soups or even fresh, but it tastes really good. Kind of all together, I mean, flavor-wise, it reminds me of a mix of maybe garlic, onion, asparagus, spinach. There's hints of all those little flavors in there. So it's really good. Anyways, thanks for watching and happy hunting for wild leek. All right, here's the sauteed leeks. What's it taste like? It tastes like popcorn, but when it hits your mouth or tongue, it just melts.